Hey people, how you doing? I'm tired. Happy Valentine's Day. Let me just do a quick update, music update, okay? Gotten a lot of responses to my metal and heavy stuff videos. Thank you everyone. I've only had one person uh, claim that I only showed, the only metal thing I showed was Iron Maiden. Come on people, that's ridiculous. Notice I'm smiling. Again, we all have or, you know, our opinions, but uh, just uh, go watch the video again. I showed a lot of metal. <laughs> Iron Maiden wasn't the only metal thing I showed. <laughs> oh, I'm exhausted. Today at work just was jacked, and I'm going to move on. One of the questions that I got in a um, comment was, a person wanted to know, do I get into any industrial metal? like Skinny Puppy and stuff, and Godflesh. And the answer is, uh, yeah, I must admit that there was a time when I had some Skinny Puppy, and I sold it. Never bought any Godflesh. They're all right. I do have some industrial, but again, um, because I'm not thinking in terms of uh, genres all the time, I forget what's in my collection. You know, I pulled a couple things that, well, this is the only Skinny Puppy I have left is this, because it's collectible. It's good, too, but it's a 3-inch CD texture. Uh, you don't see 3-inch CDs too much. Any, and when I do come across them now, I pretty much buy them just, you know, because you don't see them. But, yeah, I like Skinny Puppy. And, um, you know, uh, I, I, my head kind of gets caved in when I try to think of other names. But here's, a, I don't know, do you know this band? This is industrial. This is very good. Die form photograms. I'll take it out of the Blake sleeve so you can see it. This is good. As a matter of fact, I popped it on to make sure I wasn't misspeaking, that it wasn't straight noise. This is industrial, going into noise. And I think they're German. It's dark. It's very, very good. And so I don't, when it comes to industrial music, I don't understand why die form is not a quote-unquote name this is damn good let's see I'm thinking this one comes it does come with a single but that's something I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start putting the singles that come with the albums back with them I used to separate them but now I'm have a mind to put them back together now this is where I kind of get a little fuzzy because when you said industrial I think right away of Throbbing Gristle and Noise and White House and Missing Foundation. So I don't think this is metal, industrial metal, but this is more of what I think of when I think of, indu of industrial. Missing Foundation, I believe, are an East Coast New York band, um, similar to Einster's Ende Neubotten, but probably a little more if you can believe it, maybe even a little more chaotic, maybe also kind of like Test Department. A lot of industrial drums and and found uh, items used to create an amazing cacophony. So I just wanted to um, try to just say that, yeah, I like industrial music. I like noise. I like sound. I like pure, I like pure sound. Today, again, and I'm being real careful because I just really am trying to not spend too much money for a number of reasons. But I today I did go and shop again while waiting for one of my clients. I went to Half Price Books. And right quick, I noticed that Half Price Books has some kind of deal with either one or two labels where they have these new old reissues. They're reissues. Vinyl Lovers and a couple other labels. I'm not seeing these records anywhere else but at the Half Price Books. Somebody, um, if you understand what's going on with this, tell me. I don't know why, but I'm. I, I, why am I suspect about this? Why does it seem like, for example, they had they had a Gong double album reissue that I don't have on vinyl. Gong, something like two thousand, and they had three Osric Tentacles uh, albums on vinyl, which I don't have uh, at all anymore. I sold my Osric. I was. I didn't want to spend the money because, like I said, I'm holding on to my money right now, trying to be ready for paying everything off from the record and having the money to get the records to you guys. That's my number one priority. But even if I'd had the money, I don't know why, but I just, 
what am I suspect about the uh, the deal that these companies have with half price books? I don't know what I'm thinking. I don't know what I'm feeling. But anyway, I didn't want to spend that, but I I wanted some vinyl, so I bought, and I paid the most I paid was six dollars for one of these records, and I bought three. So I'll show you what I bought. They had environments. This was two ninety eight, and someone else in the vinyl community um, either got sent one of these or or took a chance on one. Syntonic Research. Um, it's it's nature sounds. Kind of like the Signs of the Zodiac um, series, though. If I see these now cheaply, I'm going to get them all. So I picked that up. This one is is this one I finally got because I wonder if this ever happens to any of you all. I finally got Don Juan's Reckless Daughter by Joni Mitchell. Great. It was um, still sealed. I, I popped just popped the seal. I haven't played it yet. It was only five ninety eight used, but it was still sealed. But check it out. Does this ever happen to you guys? I have seen this album so many times in recent years at great prices, and I'll keep thinking, oh, I already have it. I already have it. And then I finally checked. I didn't have it. <laughs> so I was so happy when I saw it today sealed, because that's the way I want it. You know, brand new. And I picked up one more Joni Mitchell for five ninety eight double Miles of Isles with the LA Express. Jaco Pastorius is on here. Really happy to have this now. I love Joni Mitchell. Absolutely love Joni Mitchell. I think of her as an iconoclast. I think of her as someone who busted down some doors for a lot of people, not just women. I think Joni Mitchell was amazing. I have, um, so I can add those to my Joni Mitchell collection. Let me grab them. They're right here. They're easy to find. I just have a few more. Joni Mitchell is truly a consummate artist and stunningly beautiful. Stunningly beautiful. Here we have Clouds. Talk about a cover. A fitting, a very fitting cover. Just beautiful. Hey, Jaira, these aren't in order. I don't have all of her albums, obviously. This is fantastic. You guys know. You know how excellent Joni Mitchell is. Girlfriend Don't Play. Ladies of the Canyon. Oh, God. This is uh, just one of those records that captures the moment. Captures the moment. You put this record on and you're there with her. Ladies of the Canyon is... Love that album. This is not an easy album to listen to. Because it's just, talk about capturing. This album has a lot to do with why I'm not in love. Because of this kind of, fuck, you know? Blue, you know? Maybe I am a wimp. <laughs> you know, sometimes I just don't feel like going through the pain to get back to the pleasure. How's that? I'll probably break down again before I die, hopefully. But I'll tell you, I'm, I'm, I'm damn near scared off of life. Court and Spark. I can hear this in my head right now. Help me, I'm falling. This has probably my, got some of my favorite Joni Mitchell songs, The Hissing of Summer Lawns. And they had a copy out at Half Price Books today. It was an import copy. I almost bought it. And I took a look at it and had a big old scratch. Not, yeah, you know, Mark. I said, I'll hear that. Nah, nah, I ain't getting that. Love this album. Edith and the Kingpin, Shades of Scarlet Conquering. Love it. Okay, okay, Derek's. I got to do it. I'll put it on now in the background. That's something that I like, and I like that more that people are doing it. People have been doing it. You were doing it before I did it. I love it when people take a moment to share listening to music with us. Okay. This is Edith and the Kingpin. This is great. Big man, alright. Just go down since we here. Play close cops with him. Small town, big man. Fresh lipstick to 
Johnny Mitchell is badass. I'll tell you what, folks. Thank God for music. You know, I can live without a lover if I got music. I can make it without sex if I got music. I can do it. Music is wonderful. Just wonderful. Just fantastic. I love this album. Okay. Mingus. Dog eat dog. Go, Joni. This woman's bad. I mean this in all all sincerity. She's a badass bitch. Fucking badass woman. Wild things run fast. I've got singles. I've got 45s by Joni Mitchell, too. I love 45s. Love them. That's what I bought today. Oh, I wanted to share that yesterday. I had I had bought one more record, but it was out in the other on my other stereo, so I forgot to show it to you. I'll show this right quick and I'll get out of here. Um, this I got used, or rather, it was marked way down at Homer's for like six dollars, but it was still sealed. And I figured it would be kind of metally or something, but I liked the cover and I went ahead and took a chance. Drop dead, gorgeous, in vogue. And yeah, this is screamo. I like the music, the the vocals. I can take the I like that better than the screaming like some kind of adolescent who's getting his nuts clipped off. That's what this guy sings like, you know, and it's it's hard to take, but I like the music. This is an interesting package because what it is, it's a, it's an album. One it's like it's one side is an album, really nice splatter vinyl. You know, so instead of it being a double album, it's one album, and then the other side is a seven inch. And it ain't too bad. I could do without the I could do without the screamo vocals, but I like the shards. That, that that's the kind of chords that the, these songs have. Those kind of shard like dissonant kind of chords. I like that. Happy Valentine's Day, folks. Yeah, you know, when I was saying show pictures of your family, you know, you can show pictures of your family or pictures of you or maybe share a cool story about your life. I don't know. You know, Vinylated, I guess, kicked it off, He, you know, as far as my interest in doing this, where my sister responded to him by making a slideshow, and that led to me making a slideshow. So um, go for it, people. Let us see. I thought that was so uh, so cool of Andreas to show us, you know, how life is in Europe. You know, in Europe, kids go naked at the beach for the most part. Ain't no big deal. Seeing your... Uh... <laughs> we saw Grecian Thunder's baby dick. <laughs> I'll see y'all later. <laughs> 